I had thought about 2010 as sort of my official coming out as a, as a, as a survivor uh, goal for that year, but not in my wildest dreams would I think it would be doing that on the Oprah show. But Mike gave me a phone number to call for one of her producers. They called me back. Um, within a few weeks, um, they had made their selection and they decided to include me in the process. So I came home from work and I said, hi honey, how are you doing? And she said, fine, how are you? I said, how was, it, how, she said, how was your day? And I said, well, not much. Oprah called. <laughs> Thinking, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? And I told her what I'd done and they had actually sent me some tickets and the whole shebang. And um, just with it, it's, it, and the time flew by, it just seemed like the next day I was on the plane and with a bunch of people I knew already, as well as some other survivors from the uh, Toronto area that I didn't know. And the next thing I know, we're in Chicago, there's buses galore picking us up and dumping us off at the Omni Hotel. And then one of the most impactful things for me was that we had been asked to provide pictures of us at the age uh, that we were abused at. And I had done that. And one of her producers um, was handing them back out to us because they wanted us to all hold them at the beginning of the show. And at the end, he still had one photograph. And he said, he couldn't let us do it without finally admitting to himself and to Oprah the night before that he too was a survivor. Wow. So he held up his own photograph. He said he went home or tried to go home the other night knowing this show was coming up and he pulled over and he just cried and he had never told anybody. And so when he went in to the, the night before to tell Oprah what had happened, I guess that's the, that was the time they decided that this was a much, much bigger issue and that we would in fact be taping two shows to air a week apart. Um, I can still see him, I can still hear him, I can still see the tears, but he said he couldn't ask us to do what we were doing without coming clean himself. And that was just wild. We did the two shows. Um, I was on the news within 24 hours here, um, just prior to the first air date. Um, front page of the newspaper, completely out there. And it was liberating because I had never experienced that feeling before. When I spent many years just not acknowledging the abuse, just put it in the back of your head, or blaming myself for it, and then all of a sudden realizing it had nothing to do with me, it had everything to do with him, and there are lots of other people in my position. And um, immediately following the airing of the first show, um, the Sexual Assault Center had an increase of 165% about males requesting service. And it just, it didn't stop.